My name's Jeff, and I love beer. I don't just mean that I love to drink it, though. I mean I'm passionate about the history of beer, how it's made, and what's in store for the future of beer. Some might call me a beer snob, but I see it a bit differently. I want to learn about all beers. It's time to go exploring in the world of beer. Sometimes in life you find yourself heading down one path, but realize maybe it's time to change gears. That's what happened to the folks behind me. They started with the brew pub, but soon realized, let's get rid of the food, it's time to focus on the beer. Goodbye chicken wings, hello better brews. Let's go see what this place is all about. Alex, thank you so much for letting us in the doors a little bit after hours here uh, and pouring us some fine beer. Yeah, no worries. Uh, happy to have you here. I, I understand years back, this was a brew pub. Right. Um, so you used to serve food. Did you guys just get yeah. sick of making uh, chicken tenders? What happened? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we're sitting right where the dining room used to be. <laughs> so this was uh, one half was kitchen, the other half was uh, dining room. And uh, the dining room went all the way back to where that copper tank starts right there. Uh, as you know, Vegas took extremely hard hit, and uh, kind of the industry went with it too, as far as like restaurants and stuff. Sure. So, uh, our main passion was actually with beer, and that's where we kind of wanted to start expanding out to. How has this place changed since you said we're beer focused? Yeah, you know it's kind of interesting. You know, uh, we we allow outside food. We uh, you know have even had a food truck out tonight here. So I mean, we uh, we tell people bring your own food in, you know, order food in, uh, or go visit the food trucks. So you yourself are you a brewer as well? Um, I don't really brew commercially too much anymore, but I, I used to be a head brewer at another facility here in town. Sure. And uh, I was a lead brewer for about three and a half years over there and transitioned to sales. So uh, me personally, beer, it's just, it's my overall passion. In the distance, I can see some beautiful fermenters sitting yeah. back there. Would you mind giving me a little tour? Let's do it. After you. So, as someone who brews five gallon batches, and I've said this before on the show, but it doesn't matter, it never gets old. This part of your brewery is awesome. This yeah. is where it all goes down, this is so cool. And the magic happens. You guys got some big ass tanks. Yeah. Uh, these are 40, you said? 40 barrel fermenters, so yeah. Whew. Um, what do we got going on in these right now? Anything? Uh, yeah, so uh, we actually have a new, one of our new seasonals happening, which is called God of Thunder, which is actually a Baltic style porter. So 9.3%, it's actually with the lager yeast strain, uh, but it has some really complex multi characteristics. Uh, again, you're gonna get some of those figs and prunes, but it has like a nice deep chocolate characteristic to it too. With a porter, even at 9.3, it should drink really well. And it's funny you call it God of Thunder because as a home brewer to see my little thing bubbling with the yeast and the activity going on, this is industrial strength overflow right here and it is so awesome to see that is so cool industry rise you know it's not really that big of a system we're, we're on a 10 barrel system right now which does 310 gallons at one time these uh first three not that big. fermenters three, three, okay yeah are 40 barrels so it takes four batches to fill up uh our system is not very efficient so this is where we're starting to lead into this new facility that we're going to go ahead and move into we're getting all new system all new fermentation takes to be more efficient company so uh yeah yeah 10 barrels you know it's, you know, pretty average for a brew pub. We never realized that we're going to start really expanding outside of our restaurant, you know. Sure. All the beer here generally, uh, when we had the restaurant, was just getting served to the patrons that were here, here to eat. So. Okay. Now, you, you, I mean, I see the fermenters. Where are the rest of your tanks? There's a big, there's a big chiller behind you. Is there something going on in there? Right. Yeah. So we have a walk-in cooler here, and that's where uh, the, the finished beer ends up. And that actually gets served directly to our bar. So it's quite a distance from the bar, but the, the beer you're drinking right now comes directly from so the So fermenter, bright, glass. Right. That's impressive. Now, what if someone wanted bottles? You guys are doing that too? We are, yeah. So we go ahead and bottle everything at 22 ounce, and that takes, uh, we have a couple more bright tanks over here that we do uh, all of our packaging off of. Can we go see that? Let's go take a look. Excellent. What is going on here? So yeah, uh, this is actually our what's called a McKean bottling line. Uh, very popular for our, our size uh, brew, brewery or brew pubs. Uh, what we do is we actually pick up two cases at a time. Uh, what we do is we put this around the necks and we close that and it will actually grab the necks. Wow. We can turn it all the way upside down. Uh, 
uh, put it here to where this little button will squirt sanitizer up into the bottles. After that's been cleansed out, we set this down on this little ramp and release the bottles. We have this little uh, uh, slot that comes out and we'll push the bottles forward as it keeps going. These pins come down and they'll go right directly into the bottle. They actually will put carbon dioxide into the bottles to evacuate all oxygen because oxygen is bad sure. for finished beer. And then they fill the bottles up. We want to kind of overfill just a little bit so we're able to cap on foam. Okay. So the crowns come down this little area, down these little slots, and we'll actually stamp right on top. The bottles get pushed forward again, and then the water will spray off the bottles to get any residual beer right off. And we have another guy kind of picking it up on this end to go ahead and dry them off. This is way. amazing. So, so far it should be pretty clear that the Las Vegas craft beer scene is booming. There's a place where you can brew your own beer. There's a place right on Fremont Street making killer beer. And then we got a behind the scenes after hours tour of a wonderful brewery that's ready to explode. Uh, in fact, I think a lot of them left early, which is one of the perks of when this place shuts down, it's taking some beer to go.